Hello and welcome back. My name is Michael Williams. I hope that you've had a chance to watch the first two videos or if you preferred, listen to the first two audios. It's absolutely critically important that you follow those because this will not make sense if you don't listen to the videos and you don't take a look at the tool, at the immersion tool and the process. If you don't have those things, then this video will not make sense. So this really is a series. So in this video, which is the third part, and more than likely will be the final part of this series, you and I are going to be looking at a process, right, a, a system that you can use for actually practicing. And I put this together because one of my best clients asked me to. They said, Michael, you know, it would be really helpful if you were to actually give me a structure, a way to structure my practice sessions. And that's exactly what I did. So why don't we take a look at this. Okay, let's just take a look at this uh, process here. This is what we call spaced learning. If you want to do some research and look up spaced learning, you'll see what it is. This is a very, it's a highly effective and accelerated way to learn something. You can learn information and you can learn skills, physical skills, right, using this process. And so what you want to do optimally is you want to have three practice sessions. Each session should be no less than 10 minutes, optimally around 15, but maximally, I don't know if that's a real word, but the maximum amount of time should be 20 minutes. You don't want to go beyond 20 minutes. Could you go as low as five minutes? Yes, you could. All right. So anywhere from five to 10 minutes, 10 is probably optimal, up to 20 minutes. You want to have three practice sessions, let's just say 10 minutes each, and in between each of the practice sessions, you want to have a 10-minute break, a 10-minute break. And during that break, now this is important, so I want you to listen to me. During that break, you want to do something different than the activity you were doing when you're learning. So because you're going to be working on your speech, you want to do something that probably doesn't require what speaking. So go take a walk, just go do anything else other than speak. If you have to speak, speak away but just try not to speak too much. So let's look at this uh, particular format called the three by 10 practice routine, right? So it's a routine that you wanna use. And this will take you about 50 minutes or 65 minutes, depending on how much time you take, right? So we got three 10 minute sessions, that's 10, 20, 30 minutes, and then two 10 minute breaks, that's 50 minutes. I recommend, based on my experience with my clients, based on what my best clients have told me over the years, that when you practice for between 40 to 60 minutes a day, at least five days a week, which comes out to about 300 minutes a week, right, that that's optimal. That gives you your best results. You can go over that, but if you go under, you're not going to get the kind of results you want. Remember, you're immersing yourself. If you're really serious, if you're really serious, if you, in fact, I'm going to tell you a story. Uh, and some of you may have heard this story before, and then we're going to get back to this tool. Uh, it's a story about Socrates, and there's this, this uh, young man, a young boy, who came to Socrates, knocked on his door and said, Socrates, I want you to tell me how to be successful. I really want to be successful. Can you tell me how to be successful? So Socrates said, sure, follow me. So Socrates went out walked down to the river, or the ocean, right? He walked down, and he started walking into the water, and the young man followed him, and it got up to about chest, maybe even neck deep, and Socrates grabs the boy and dumps his head under the water, right? He grabs him, and dumps his head under the water, and he holds the boy there, and the boy gasps for air, and he's flailing away, and all of a sudden, he lets him up. <laughs> it's like, what in the heck are you doing, right? And so, you know, they're walking back, you know, what are you doing? Why did you do that? So Socrates says to him, when you want wisdom, when you want success, as much as you want it air, you will have it. You will find it. So I'm going to say the same thing about speaking well, right? If you want to be successful in terms of your speech or anything else, 
when you want it, when you need it as much as you need air, like that boy did, you are going to obtain it. You're going to do whatever you need to do. So if it means taking 50 minutes a day, you're going to find, doggone it, that 50 minutes a day, and you're going to do it. Some of my best clients are my busiest clients. Some of my best clients have demanding jobs, they're professionals, they have families, they find the time, they do the work, they get the results. So if you say, I, I just don't have time, I'm too busy, it's a crock of you know what. You, I've, I'm telling you, I've worked with people who are just so freaking busy, you wouldn't believe it, and they find the time. Now, are there gonna be some days where you just, you just can't do it, right? You're just too exhausted? Absolutely. Do something, do something. You can find the time if this is important. Just like if you're underwater, you're going to figure out a way to get out of there, to get some air, or you're going to die. Right? So if you really want to improve your speech, if you really want to improve your life, you're going to figure out a way. I'm giving you the way. You're going to figure out a way to find the time to do it. So let's look at this tool. Practice one, practice session one. Ten minutes. In the first practice session, I recommend that you watch or listen to audio or video of your model, right? You may have heard me or maybe you haven't heard me talk about modeling. Modeling is like mimicking. It's copying. It's literally pretending to speak like your model. This is how I improved my speech. I modeled two people when I was uh, in my mid to late 20s, all the way up, well, into my 30s. I modeled someone copied their speaking style, right? Mimic them. So when I would speak, I'd say, I would literally be practicing by myself, giving presentations the same way as my model would. And when I would go out to give presentations, I would go into another state, a speaking zone, if you will, where I pretended to be my model until eventually I didn't have to do that anymore. I had my own smooth speaking style. So people that have done this have found it to be very effective. You have to practice, but then you have to go out and do what? You gotta use it under pressure. You gotta go out and use it under pressure. And you have to practice as if you are your model, right? You can't just practice and do a little bit. You gotta literally become your model. Become, you pretend like you are your model. Then when you go out, you say, all right, I'm gonna just flip the switch, become my model. I'm gonna borrow my model's confidence. I'm going to borrow my model's speaking style. I'm going to speak like my model. It doesn't matter if you're a female, you can model a male. It doesn't matter if English is a second language, you can model someone in English or in your own language. I have clients from around the world. Many of my clients are female. Most of my, all of my clients model me for a period of time. They may have second models, they may get models after me, but they model me initially because it's easier in our working relationship. So you want to model. How do you model? I spent thousands, if not tens of thousands of hours watching and listening to and practicing speaking like my model did. Then when you go out, you say, okay, how would my model speak right now? And then you speak like your model. You can't speak like your model if you haven't spent time practicing speaking like your model. Does that make sense? Now, why would you even want a model? Well, when a child is growing up, how is it that they learn how to speak? How is it that they learn how to walk or do anything? They have models around them. They watch them. They study them. They learn how to speak. They listen to them and they begin to practice. Ah, ah, dad, da, mama. Whatever it is, they learn how to say it based on. That's why if you have a child who grows up in your house, and let's say your language is English, they're not going to grow up speaking Spanish in your house if no one speaks Spanish, right? They're not going to have the accent. They're not going to know the vocabulary. But if you have a child, you have a child, then somehow, say they get lost and they grow up in a Spanish-speaking household, they're not going to grow up speaking English. They're going to grow up speaking Spanish even though they came from you. It's because of their model, because of the model, right? So you model the person, right? You watch, you listen to, you study, and you imitate, you mimic how that person speaks. And you borrow that when you're in real-life situations. So you spend the time watching, listening, and then you spend some of that time actually practicing. That is, memorizing what that person has said and then practicing saying it just like they did. Then you take a 10-minute break, right? Break, 10-minute break. Go do something different. Come back, practice two. Record yourself modeling. 
Use your mobile phone, use your computer, use your tablet. Practice whatever you've been memorizing before, practice and record yourself. When you record yourself, a couple of things happen. One, you get desensitized to seeing yourself and hearing yourself speaking. It's not so bad. So it's like, ugh, I don't like to hear it. I don't like to listen to myself speak. But you get desensitized and you actually start appreciating it. And you start giving yourself feedback, constructive feedback. Okay, I need to work on this. Maybe I can improve on that. And you actually get used to hearing yourself. Why is that important? So that when you actually go out and speak to people, you're used to hearing your own voice. You have an image, a mental image of how you are perceived because you've seen yourself and you feel what? Comfortable and confident with yourself speaking. Makes sense, yes? So you want to go out and you want to record yourself, watch yourself, give yourself feedback. Then you take what? 10 minute break, go do something else. Then you come back again. And in this next practice session, you might want to practice in front of someone to increase the pressure. If there's no one around, then you might combine the other ones. You might watch a little bit, practice, record yourself. All right. So these are your formal practice sessions. I recommend doing it in this block of time. If you absolutely cannot do it, then you can break it down and you can do 10 minutes here, 10 minutes there, 10 minutes there. I also recommend that you do this practice session uh, just before you go to bed. Why do you think that? You do it just before you go to bed because after that, it gives your brain time to constitute what you've learned. Your brain has time to take it, to process it, right? to set it in there, and you don't have a whole lot of other stuff interfering with it because you're going to bed. Okay, so actually doing it at the end of the day, even though you might be tired, even though you might be tired, doing it just before you go to sleep is excellent. So we've taken a look now at this tool, right? We've taken a look at this tool. You're going to do this routine at least five days per week, at least five days a week. I've given you exactly what you need to do in your practice sessions, exactly what you need to do. If you have questions, feel free to email me, okay? Feel free to do that. But this is what you need to do. So the next thing that we're going to do is I'm going to pull up here the actual immersion tool, okay? I'm going to pull up the immersion tool and let's take a look at this tool. So this is the immersion tool and as I told you on this tool you have virtually everything you need to do what we just talked about in the last couple of videos, right? In the last few videos including this one. So learn and practice. Here's what I have up there. You're going to watch or listen tell you what to watch or listen to, and I actually give it to you here, right? This part here is what, is what we call section one. So when you actually go to the tool, it has section headers, says section one. And you're going to listen to the modules. In fact, you can see the sections right there, right? You're going to listen to it. It's in a playlist format. You listen to one module per day. What else are you going to do? You're going to listen multiple times a day to the audios in section two, which is right here, right? There's three audios in there. One just kind of is an introduction. You only need to listen to tracks number two and three multiple times a day, but at least once. What else do you have to do? Well, you affirm every day. I give you the affirmations. They're right there. Every day you just affirm all day long. So you want to memorize them, set them up on a reminder app for every hour, every hour of your day. Why? So that it, it immerses, right? It immerses the information in your mind. You're thinking about it all the time. It's at the top of your mind. You're able to remind yourself of it the more you think about it. What else do you do? You practice modeling, right? So what I do is give you step one. I'm going to put the rest of the steps in there from 21 steps to start speaking more smoothly and confidently. I'm going to give you that, but here's step one. So you're going to use this step one video as a video and an audio for you to practice from. What else do I give you? I give you the videos from the modules that you can, that you can use. I also give you a bonus, how to conquer your fear of public speaking. Right? It's a series that one young lady used to go out within a day or two and give two successful presentations 
with very little notes and she was able to be very successful from watching the webinar of this, not even the whole course, just the webinar of it, right? So I give you that as a bonus. Up here, you have the ability to download the actual uh, blueprint in the daily routine that we just looked at a few minutes ago, right? Those, those slides. So what we wanna do is as you look at this blueprint, right? This daily routine blueprint, just going to walk you through this real quick again. This blueprint tells you exactly what to do. And if we move back to the immersion tool, you can download that document and another one. There's another document that I have. It's on a spreadsheet and it goes for 48 days and it pretty much tells you day one, do this, All right? Day two, do this. All you have to do is follow. So what I'm doing is I'm giving you all the tools that you need, everything you need on one page that you can use to improve your speech. So there's absolutely no reason why you can't do it. The only reason that you won't be able to improve your speech is if you quit. If you quit or if you start and stop, you start and stop, right? If you don't believe that it's possible that you can do it. At some point, and I'll just tell you this, this is something that I had to learn myself. At some point, you got to trust someone to help you to get you to where you need to go. There's so much information out there. There are so many experts out there. And there are so many people that have great programs out there. And recently, I've taken a look at some of the other programs out there. And there's some really good stuff out there as far as for people that stutter and people that struggle with their speech. At some point, you got to pick one and you got to go with it, you got to stick with it. There's nothing wrong with using multiple programs and multiple techniques, but you can't go jumping over here for a month or two and then jump over here because most of this stuff, as these experts will tell you, and I've seen some of, I've seen some of the stuff that they've written, they'll tell you, you're going to have to stick with this for months, for several months, for a few months, for six months, for eight, for a year, for multiple years, right? So, you're gonna to have to trust someone. You may not wanna trust me, trust someone. If you really want to improve your speech, if, if stuttering, if your speech has been blocking you, if it's been interfering with you being as successful as you wanna be, there is something you can do about it. I watch people, I help people, I guide them, and I see their lives change. Right? This is not miraculous, it's hard work but I see their lives change. So I know it's possible. So when someone says, oh, I've tried everything. No, you haven't. No, you haven't. I've worked with people with severe stuttering. They were shaking, they were doing all kinds of things, and people who were situational. And I've helped people just like that in all of those categories. So I know it's possible. And I know some of the experts have helped people like that too. So if you wanna improve your speech, you can do it. You're gonna to have to trust somebody completely going to have to get in and work hard. I want to invite you to allow me to go with you on that journey, right? I can help you become an excellent speaker. I can help you become a superior presenter. If you are a professional and you need to be able to speak well, you need to be able to present well, you need to be able to project confidence, authority, you need to be able to articulate yourself well, you need to be able to be clear you want to be able to engage your audience. You want to be able to speak and present without notes, right? It doesn't matter how technical, how data-driven your presentation is. I've helped people do that too. You want to be able to do this with little notes, right? Little notes or no notes. I can help you do that. So I'm the person that you want to come to if you're a professional and you want to be able to speak well, extremely well. Now, if you just want to not stutter or reduce your stuttering, minimize your stuttering, I'm probably not the person that you want to come to, right? This is a high performance coaching program for professionals who need to be able to speak well. So thank you for taking the time to join me in these videos, for listening to me, for watching me, and I hope that you will do one of two things. Join my self-study membership and you have three options for that, right? One option is at the lowest possible investment of $24 a month. The other option is a little bit more than that, right? 
and you can get in there and you can download most of the stuff. You can pretty much download everything. And then there's the higher option, which is uh, about $497, where you get a complimentary free 30-minute coaching session with me, and you get to download everything. So you get the immersion tool, which is web-based, plus you get to download the stuff if you want to put it onto your mobile device. Now, some of you are going to want and need coaching. So you're going to want to contact me and set up an interview to see if this is going to be a good match for you. Please take your time take a look at the coaching packages and look at the prices, right? So if, if you contact me for an appointment and you're thinking, well, the coaching is just going to cost me a couple hundred dollars, then you're going to be surprised. You're going to say, what? The coaching is $2,000. So please look in at the details of the coaching program so that you understand the pricing. So when you and I talk, we're going to be, we're going to be on the same page. If you can and if you want the fastest, most efficient way to improve your speech, then you're going to want to do the coaching. It's the fastest, the most efficient, it's the most effective. Because I'm going to be able to look at you and say, aha, you need to work on these two things. I want to be able to give you feedback, right? I'm going to be able to evaluate you. I'm going to be able to encourage you and hold you accountable. Where most people fall off when they're doing the self-study is they give up. They give up too early. Uh, or they don't have anyone to hold them accountable. Now, some people don't need that, right? And so the self-study is there for those who either don't want or don't need the accountability, encouragement, feedback, want to do it on your own, or for people that simply cannot afford the coaching, then this is going to be your best chance for success, doing the self-study, okay? But if you can afford the coaching, the coaching is an investment. It's not an expense, it's not a cost, because if you do the coaching, you invest in this program, you're going to get your money back in your first job, in your first promotion, right? In your first sale. The money's going to come back to you, so it's an investment in yourself. That's just financially, but what about the emotional, the spiritual investment and the spiritual returns that you're going to get? So it's an investment. So make sure that you take a look at those two options. I want to invite you to join me on this journey. I can help you become an excellent speaker. I have the tools, the tools work, they just make sense, right? Have the tools, they work. Look forward to hearing from you soon, and my name is Michael Williams.